Okay, I'm gonna make some ribs in my Crock-Pot Express first time. So what I done was I made a dry rib uh, with just some seasoning that I have at home because you're not going out to get anything. It has paprika, seasoning, salt, garlic powder. So we're just gonna season these up and I'm gonna let them sit for a couple hours. I already done one side, I cut them in half. So I've never cooked uh, ribs in my Crock-Pot Express. So we're gonna see how my Sunday dinner comes out. And we just wanna season these up really good and let that seasoning sit in there. Also put a little um, brown sugar, just a little bit in there. Now I like my food seasoned, so we're just gonna get a nice coating all around. And I'm gonna cover this up and put it in a refrigerator for a couple hours. Okay, we'll check back on it in a little bit. All right, so our ribs have been marinating for about a couple hours because we had some stuff to do around the house. So now we're gonna put them in our Crock-Pot Express. Wayne gonna assist me today, my hubby. Let's see if he could get it in here. Let's see. Okay, okay, look like you're doing okay. All right, and here, we're gonna do one cup of chicken broth because if I had a fruit juice, like if I had some orange juice or apple juice or pineapple juice, I think that would be really delicious, but um, we on quarantine mode, so we don't have it. So just put that down in the center there. It's okay if some get on there, but we don't want to rinse our good uh, dry rub off that we made. Okay, just put that over there. And then we're going to take the top here. And let's see, we're going to lock it down. Let's get this in here. We're going to lock it down. We're going to make sure that this is on lock so the steam doesn't come out. And then we're gonna put it on about 25 minutes. So let's see, maybe 27, well 20, that, and start it. So, and then we'll check back once it's done. Once it's done, we're gonna put it under the broiler, heat it up and let that barbecue sauce get in there. All right, we'll be back. All right, so we're about to make the second part of our dinner, which is our quarantine meal, which is what we have around the house. We're making um, green beans, not home style, but it is what it is. Hubby is here recording. Hey, Hello. Wayne. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I got just some green beans. I drained them and rinsed them off because I don't want that green bean water around there. And I'm gonna do two cans, which is way plenty for us. It's just, you know, the two of us. And I'm gonna add some chicken broth. And this is actually just the chicken broth that was left from uh, the ribs that we cooked. And I think I may add some more, I do have some more. And I'm gonna add to that some, I had four red skin potatoes and I'm just gonna add them in there just to give it some little home style flavor and some onion. I just chopped up some onion as much as I wanted. You just add what as much as you like. Let me rinse my, wash my hands off. Why looks you good. Good? It looks good in the pot. I know it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it looks what good. What else you got to talk about? No, oh, I'm just nothing, kidding. Nothing. All right, and then we're going to add some um, better than bouillon. I like this stuff. Okay, and a little bit. I don't have any regular garlic, but I do always keep this. So I'm going to add some of this to it. And I'm going to add a little bit more... Um, uh, I don't know if I'm, am I going to add broth? I may add a little bit of, little bit of water to it. 
I'm going to add a little bit more water just because it needs to cover up those potatoes. What you say? Uh-uh, no to more water or broth? <laughs> just no, kidding. A little water. All right. Yeah, a little water. So, yeah, this is going to cook for about a half an hour. And then add whatever seasoning you like to your vegetables. I like pepper, of course. Yes, you do. And I'm going to cook this on medium. I like seasoning salt. I get it at Costco. Is you get a better price. Add in a little bit of that. And we're going to put the top on this also. And I put this almost in just about everything. Monterey chicken seasoning. But if you was making this vegetarian, of course you could add vegetable broth uh, to it. I'm going to need a bigger spoon. Next time you see me, I'll have a bigger spoon. But you can add vegetable broth to it and just use your potatoes and onions and all your good vegetables and just add a good seasoning to it. And a little bit of this too. I like that stuff too. What is that? It's some um, grill master. Right. I like chunky seasoning in my food. Well, so normally um, if we wasn't on quarantine, I would add probably like turkey bacon or if it was the holidays, I would add smoked turkey to it also. Oh, and I'm gonna add some of this because I add this to everything. Shredded carrots. Nice. I just always have some of that um, in the refrigerator. Now that I always have some of. <laughs> so a little bit more and I may add a little bit more seasoning as it gets going. Uh, we'll see how it tastes then. Let me just get that in there. And it's gonna all cook together and cook down. Looks beautiful. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. All right, we'll check back in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna make a very, very small amount of macaroni and cheese. So normally I probably shouldn't be making it because I don't even have the right pasta. I'm actually gonna use this. Mm. And I brought that for when I make tuna salad, but oh well, I'm not leaving the house today for groceries. So it is what it is. So I'm going to let this melt real quick. And I'm just gonna add in a little bit of flour because I am gonna make a quick cheese sauce. So, mm. what, that nice. look good? Melted, melted mm. butter <laughs> with flour look good? <laughs> I don't think so. So it's just gonna, just gonna cook out the flour a little bit. Let the flour cook a little bit. Okay, all right, what's next? Is this ready? You don't know when that's ready. Trust me, you don't know when that's yes, ready. Yes, I do, yes. Uh, I'm the one that's teaching you to do all this. Okay, I, I just have 2% milk, so guess what, that's what I'm using. Gonna add a little bit to that. Well, you didn't want the people to hear that, that I'm the one that's teaching you how to do it. Well, why you the one holding the camera? <laughs> so let it come up and smooth out some. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add, I have a couple of different cheeses. I'm just gonna add whatever I want because I don't even have my, um. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I think that's enough. I don't even have a baking dish that's uh, small enough for a little bit of macaroni and cheese we have it. So we're having ramekins and I'm just gonna butter that around some. I hope it can fit in here. It will. Just, we're having two of those and no, we're not gonna eat that much if it makes that much macaroni and cheese. We only have a little bit, just for a side. We still have one more thing to make and let this warm up. I can tell it's warming up. And I always season up my cheese sauce, which it may need some more milk. 
I like black pepper in mine. I don't have white pepper, but some people use that. I don't care if you see black specks. And I have some pink salt I'm gonna add to it. Nice. So, and then I'm gonna drop in just some Velveeta cheese. It's gonna melt down so uh, easy. It is uh, the best cheese, really. It's a good cheese. But like, I'm gonna put a little bit of, I have a little bit of shredded cheese. I'm gonna put it on top. Now let me turn this down some. I don't want it up too high right now. No, we don't want that. Okay. It's come together nicely. Let's see what were you trying to go and get ready to stir? I'm just gonna try to help you for the food. So like you got it. Why are you talking all low? <laughs> All right, I'm going to add one slice of cheese just because I can. And it's Harvati cheese, which is like a Swiss cheese, but it melts really good too. And this is going to be cooked. Everything in it is cooked. It's just going to come together some. But sliced cheese melt really good. If you uh, put the top on it, if you melt some on your sandwich, as you know, it melts really good. So see, everything is almost just about melted. That um, Velveeta is about melted. Actually, it's Kroger brand. <laughs> well, thanks to a friend of Kroger. Okay, see, okay. it's almost melted down. Made a nice little quick cheese sauce. And if you had a whiz, I have a whiz, but I don't feel like getting it dirty. And I'm just gonna add my 60 second pasta, <laughs> which I've never tried this in macaroni and cheese, but it is what it is. We're gonna have us a nice dinner today for two. Let me see. Oh, look like I made just about the perfect amount of cheese sauce. Now this can thicken up some. I'm actually gonna add a little bit. I'm gonna turn it back up so it could start cooking out and thicken it up. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan to it also, cause I have some. It needs some more cheese? Well, it needs to uh, tighten up some more. See, it's a little bit loose in there. I probably could have done without a little bit of the milk, but it's, um, it's thickening up some. So I'm gonna bring you back. After it thickens up, I'm gonna put it in here and sprinkle a little bit, and this is all I got, but a little bit of shredded on top. And you'll see it once it come out the oven. I'm gonna let this thicken up. I'm gonna give it a little bit of uh, seasoning and let it thicken up a little bit. Some goodness? Yeah, but it has to thicken up because it's too loose, right. so. Even if I have to put a little slurry in there, that's fine also. All right, we'll be back in a bit. Just ladling it in and the cheese sauce thicken up some. This was some penne pasta. So that just happened to be what I had. And we're just gonna sprinkle some uh, cheese on top. just to give it some goldenness. That's enough. I got a little bit left, but that's enough. Looks Alrighty, nice. we'll be back. Okay, so I released the pressure on my crock pot and let the ribs, they calm down some. So now I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to sauce them up and they look like they're done. I haven't- oh, Falling off the bone. Not yet, we don't know. Oh, they look good. But they got a good taste to it, that little piece. Yes. But I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to sauce them up. Yeah, this is. Let's see, 
this piece is gonna maybe fall apart. Whoops. I probably need two tongues. Let's see. <laughs> Falling apart. I knew that was gonna happen because I could tell. Falling all apart. But that just means once it get in the oven and get some sauce on it, it's gonna be good, good, good. Okay, so let me put this down. Well, that means your stuff did a great job. So looking like that. Yeah. So I just mixed up three different kinds of barbecue sauces that I had. And I actually put a little sweet and sour sauce in here, some seasoning. You could put whatever you want, whatever your favorite sauce is. And I don't have uh, a brush because I don't like those brushes. But we're gonna use all this sauce anyway because I may flip it over because I like sauce on both sides. I don't, I actually like a dip in my sauce. You know, like I like sauce. Maybe so, the other one probably. Okay. Well, he gonna get some. Everybody gonna get some. <laughs> All these gonna get a nice slathering. And I think I'm gonna do them for about 10 minutes. And after five minutes, guess what? I'm gonna come back and do another little layer because I want it to cook in saucy. I don't want to take them out and have the ribs kind of like um, the sauce cooked off. I want it to be saucy. And, and it's just gonna be on 350 for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna put my macaroni and cheese in too. So let's get this in the oven. So that's that. And then I have my macaroni and cheese that really only needs about 10 minutes also. So I just got it on a little parchment paper. Whoop, this is dangerous, but it made it in. And I'm gonna make some quick cornbread jiffy. And a tip, I'm not gonna make that on camera, but the thing about the jiffy is, I'm going to add a little honey to the batter. And our green beans are done. They look like they've been simmering. They're gonna be good. All right. We'll see you once everything gets plated all up. Bye for now. Okay, so I think our ribs turned out delicious. I believe it did. What do you think? And delicious. they've fallen off the bone. Like if I try to move them, they're gonna fall apart. But it's a good thing these two pieces fell off because we'll eat those first, then we'll come back. Well, anyway, so I made some Jiffy up here, some Jiffy. Uh, we like Jiffy. I really, I'm a fan of Jiffy. What I do is to make my Jiffy a little, um, have even better flavor is I add a little honey into uh, when I'm stirring it up, when I'm mixing it. I add a little bit of honey into it and you can really taste the deliciousness. So this is our macaroni and cheese. This is how it turned out. Turned out delicious. And then we're gonna put a little bit of ribs. Then we'll come back and get some seconds if we need a little plate there. And our green beans turned out good looking also. So we're gonna come over and just make a little plate here. Gotta drain it off some. And actually I do like for my green beans to be next to my cornbread. I'll probably switch sides when I get ready to eat it because that's the whole point of having the cornbread is to go with the green beans. So in a little bit more ribs, and this is our Sunday dinner. We have our quarantine meal. So hope you guys enjoy watching this. It looks amazing. I'm ready to eat. All right. Like I always say, let's eat. All right. Be safe out there, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Here is our Sunday dinner. We made some quarantine meal with what we had in house, some delicious crock pot express barbecue ribs. Stay safe guys, falling off the bone. <laughs>